I mean the Vectrek zone, which is which is way better than the R zone, just in case you're wondering. Back at it today with some Jesus the Cooked Up Chicken, a couple drawings for Jesus issue number two, which will be coming out in May of this year, and the upcoming How to Make a Video Game Review show that doesn't suck, which will be coming out in uh, just a few weeks. Uh, the drawings are the last things going in the book. Most of the book is writing and photographs, but uh, there's cartoons of Jesus and Edit Station 1 sprinkled throughout, including this one. Watch me! Pay attention to me. Um, this is about... Uh, this is going into the section on how to promote your internet video game review show or your internet uh, video whatever, really. Um, so it's Jesus with a megaphone. This is going to be a pretty simple drawing for the most part. Uh, it's going to be color. And I'm going to make the megaphone bright orange. Which should uh, really pop off the page. So first thing I do, like usual, is drop the opacity on uh, the sketch layer. I'm going to switch over to my pens. I was using brushes for something else, which, I'm, which I'll keep secret for a few more days. All these projects going on. All right. Jesus is, like usual, a couple geometric shapes, but, but there's a subtlety to him. Uh, Jesus has uh, quite a bit of personality. That's why people like Jesus so much. Um, and, and you may note that he's smiling here. Just There's just this ever so slight smile at the end of the sketch. And I think that's it's a very subtle line. But when he's happy, he shows it. Sometimes he's really smiling, other times it's, it's more subtle, like this one. Go in there and just clean that up a little bit. There was tongue in there. Yeah. That's the tongue sound. Yeah. Obviously. Color that black. Or paint it black. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. He's not looking at anything specifically, so we'll make him a bit cross-eyed. There we go. It's kind of stuff you can't do with actual pencil and ink. So I find that when I go back to doing like real pen and ink work, pencil and ink work, I start to throw out my edges like this. <laughs> I'm reminded that, oh, I'm not doing it digitally. Just two very different ways of drawing. If I do actual pencil work, which I don't do much of anymore, I do a um, far more detailed and finished pencil sketch, then go over the inks really carefully. Because nine times out of ten, I'm selling it. I don't want to have white out on it. And if I screw up one thing, the whole drawing is ruined. So, let's see. Okay, I'm going to make another layer here. I'm going to do a new layer on this oval. I'm going to make that white and do a layer style blending options stroke, which is the same thing I would use for word balloons. Um, going to uh, Transform, rotate that, fit it onto the end of his megaphone. See, when you can't draw <laughs> circles like me, you cheat. Merge these layers. Just, I can't draw good good ovals or circles. I, I, it's not, not even worth my time, so I'll just do that. Since I know the end result's gonna suck if I sit there and try to do it by hand. Alright. Jesus' feet are pretty comical. They actually look really good in orange. <laughs> I love doing the color work on his feet. But they're just big. They're big fat duck feet, you know? It's the realism that makes it... That makes it good. There we go. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get them just right. Get the tail. The 
zoom out here, take out the sketch layer. Hey, there's the dog. Maybe the mail's here. Bringing shipments of space coke. Right, that's pretty funny. I mean, it's not a fancy drawing, but I think it gets the point across. Jesus is yelling into a megaphone. And this is going to be a vertical, like a big vertical page. This will be destined, uh, see this book is an 8.5 by 11 inch book, so it's a bigger book than uh, the Jesus or the Ethel printing, but it's more like a, I don't want to say, certainly, it's far from a textbook. Uh, it's just like a fun visual depiction of how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. So It's a good looking book, lots of photographs, and uh, when I do photo books, I have a couple of them, a bunch of them planned this year, including uh, the Ultra Massive Video Game Console Guide, which is, which is the first in a series. I'm going to do an Ultra Massive uh, Sega Genesis Collecting Guide and uh, Vectra. Oops, wrong color. And Vectrex next. Concentrating on two game systems that don't have a whole lot of big collecting guides. And then, um, got a bunch of other ones planned. Basically, I'm going to hit everything by the time I'm done with them. Except maybe the R Zone. Because that would be bad. Okay. But there's his yellow. Oh, well, drawing Jesus isn't complicated. Uh, since I am basically selling this in the book, I want it to be good. I don't put out amateur crap. If I put out crap, it's intentional crap. I mean, like my show, for example. It's garbage. Alright, this is going to be RGB, so it doesn't matter. Oh, look, his finger isn't yellow. It's like he's lost a finger. There we go. Hear ye, hear ye, watch me. Which is basically what he's screaming. Alright. Save. Let's take this guy and put him whoops, into the book. Don't read the fine, don't read the text yet because it ha I have not edited the text. I am now in InDesign. This is what the book is looking like. How to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. I just took this picture like 10 minutes ago. See? Super Thunder Blade. One of my favorite games. The Genesis. I played the hell out of that game when I was in like 8th grade. Uh, Alright, where am I? Which page is Jesus going on to? That's... Oh, there's that one. Remember this? I drew this the other day. That's only giving me a low res proof here, but... Um, that's the one I drew the other day with Jesus wearing a scarf, drinking a martini, because that's what Jesus does. Okay. Uh, this this is a good image. I have, I have a couple of these from the photo shoot. I'm going to use one in the ultra massive console guide. Um, but uh, this one is pretty amusing, and I think it it reflects both the technical qualities of the book and the attitude of the book. So I'm looking at keeping it simple. I'm going to chop out some of the. There's, there's still some shadow around the outside, but uh, using some kind of a, an effect coming out from it, but, but a simple effect. I'm not going to complicate it because the title of the book is really large. Uh, how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. So I think it's it's a funny title. I mean, it's not it's not a silly book per se, but it is it is meant to be informative and entertaining. So I'm going to go in here. I ended up with a similar uh, design to what I was working with on the ultra massive video game console guide, with uh, where the title really pops off. Now that book has like a whole bunch of different game systems on the cover. This one just has. Me wearing the Vectrex 3D Imager because, you know, why why not? So I'm wearing the 3D Imager. Now I have a bit of cleanup to do here. I have to take off the Pac-Man since <laughs> you have to do those kinds of things. And all right, there it is. And then this will wrap. When I actually do the final cover, um, I'll extend this line across the back. And then I have to do some artwork and writing on the back of it as well. But... Uh, for the time being, at least, you can see that this is the cover of the book. Got some photo pages to put in there still. There's that one I did the other day with Jesus in the hat. 
I'm going to do some full page. There's going to be a chapter index here and uh, like a two page photo spread as well. How to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. For starters, you want a Vectrex 3D imager. I'll just, I'll just give you a heads up. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware.